The arts provide a window into our humanity. What we know best about past civilizations, their customs, and their values, we know best through their works of art. An artistic experience is many things. The broader our education, the deeper our empathic ability, the more complex our emotional and psychological roots, the greater our ability to understand works of art and ultimately humanity. A country whose citizens are endowed with the skills to observe, reflect, and interpret the arts is a country which values compassion, beauty, and humanity. The Judith G. Wharton Music Center provides people of all ages, abilities, and backgrounds the opportunity to realize their inherent creative potential. I think the essential mission of Wharton Music Center is to provide uh, everyone with the ability to come in and, and make music, whether it's someone who wants to go on and study music at the college or conservatory level, or someone who just loves to hear music and wants to see how they can make it. WMC is more than just a school. We really are a community center, a go-to place, a resource for parents who are looking for music lessons, for schools who are looking for programming, for audience who are looking for exciting concerts. We've really become an anchor in the community for music appreciation and education. Arts education is just so fundamental in um, helping creativity, helping math skills, helping your language skills. It's, it's, it's a cross purpose and helping to work together. You know, I think every kid should be in a chorus or in an orchestra or a band and they're going to learn how to work with other kids and how to create beautiful things. And I think that's the best thing a citizen can do in this country. The essential mission of WMC is to bring music and other performing arts to life in the students and, uh, that we educate. Particularly in these times when you know, through budget cuts and other problems that you know, local schools are having, the arts have been uh, seriously neglected. And fortunately for us, we have an institution like WMC to step in uh, and fill the gap and provide the necessary teaching and education and music uh, that they're not getting in the schools uh, and other areas. So I think that it's key to have an institution like WMC these days, uh, in these tough economic times, to, to fill that gap, and I think we're doing that. I think it's wonderful how I have a center where there is an artist within each and every one of us, and to have a center where we have so many different artistic elements going on at once, there's got to be something for everybody here. So that's what I think is so great about WMC. I'm committed to teaching at Wharton Music Center because I believe that it is different from any other community art center. We believe in teaching through performance, requiring students to perform in musicals, dance recitals, voice recitals, uh, really allows them to get the experience through their performing rather than just in class learning. I started the Music Center for two reasons. One, I needed to find something meaningful and fulfilling for myself. And the main reason was I felt there was nothing here like the one I was affiliated with as a Friends board member in Winnetka, Illinois. And there was that need. New Jersey seemed provincial yet sophisticated, and it was the challenge to reach beyond each separate community to indicate the need was there for bringing people together in a sense of community. And therefore, I began looking all over the state, all over the community, and was offered a few positions which were not quite right. And I decided really in a eureka moment uh, that I could do this and this was something I should try. The first memory that really made the Music Center a real possibility was a $10,000 emergency grant 
from Robert Parsons, who was then head of the Haydn Watson Foundation. And I sat in his office and talked very fast, something I learned in the East. And he said, I think we can give you a $10,000 grant. Uh, and that translated into the purchase of five upright Baldwin pianos. Moving into a facility together with the New Jersey Youth Symphony out of a uh, back room area um, at the Madison Area YMCA, whose director was eager to have a music program there but didn't know how to do it. I'm very pleased that things have evolved with the help of so many people. the music makes these kids better and the music makes their life better, more interesting, uh, more full of something and it makes them emotionally better. It's why I believe that maybe not all but most of the kids need this music education. Um, I've been uh, teaching music for over 30 years and also I had my own school in New York City. WMC is a very, very special place. We have, I believe, the finest teaching staff in New Jersey and maybe in the country. Our faculty is from some of the finest conservatories and they are of the highest level. And what our mission is here at uh, Judith G. Wharton Music Center, uh, which is to create better people, I believe. Through the, through the use of the arts, through the teaching of the arts, and, and into the community as well as here. WMC's uh, mission is, is a very important one. It deals with bringing music to life for children, for families, for the adults. In fact, I'm one of the adult students here in the school. It's bringing meaning into people's lives through music, I think. And it definitely has improved my life and improved uh, the lives of many of uh, the people that are affiliated with it. The school is growing. It's becoming a real force uh, in our community. We're expanding into different uh, areas. Uh, you know, we touch more people and we influence their lives in, in a more important way. The essential vision of WMC is to prepare young people for their roles as conscientious, creative, and responsible citizens. Our vision is also to provide arts opportunities into all communities where opportunity is scarce. Each day, dozens of our faculty members travel from all parts of New Jersey and New York to share their talent and their wisdom with students from all ages, abilities, and backgrounds. We also send out many of our artists, many of our faculty members, into communities where literally there is no arts programming. Here is where I believe the WMC mission is truly felt for its impact on communities. I guess I first became aware of, of Wharton Music Center many years ago when it was at the Madison YMCA. Um, and it's just blossomed since then, um, especially with our new facility in Berkeley Heights. It's really become an entity of, unto itself and, and more of a household name, really creating a generation of listeners and audience. And I think that's become as much of our mission as, um, as anything and evolving away from purely being a place for individual instruction. I truly do feel it's a privilege to be on the board that it's a dynamic institution. And over the last few years, I've seen so many positive changes and a board that really looks to the future to be you know, an exciting and interesting institution. Now we have 25th anniversary of this school, so of course I wish to say happy anniversary to all teachers and students and parents and all people that help our school, people from the board and people that donate some money to our school and I hope that the school will be run, running forever teaching kids music. As far as our 25th anniversary, well, it's, uh, it's amazing that we've made it uh, to this. We have to thank Judith Wharton for that. Judy's a very, very special person. 
as the founder, is still very actively involved and very committed. In the next 25 years, I envision WMC merging with other community organizations, arts organizations, um, theater, film, orchestra, um, and becoming really a regional center for performing arts. I would like WMC to be truly on the tip of everyone's tongue when teachers at local schools or parents talking at Starbucks talk about their kids' music lessons or concerts they've been to. I would like that to be a, the primary impression, an image that comes out of everyone's mouth. Wharton Music Center. To the many donors of uh, WMC, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your contributions. It's made our little school very successful, uh, and we look forward to your continued support. Thank you to the donors, to the parents, um, to the staff, everyone who's made Wharton Music Center the great place that it is. Everyone out there who has really stepped up to make Wharton Music Center what it is today and will be in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you for keeping the arts alive. Uh, on behalf of, uh, uh, of myself as a, an administrator uh, and as a faculty member, um, I want to thank the many, many donors we have here. It takes a special person to be committed to the arts. Thank you all the people, the board members, the past board members, the, especially our, the directors, the community people, the corporate sponsors, the sponsors, everybody who has helped in every way, and a particular thank you to my husband, Leonard. Thank you to all of our donors and all of our families and our wonderful faculty and staff who make Wharton Music Center what it is and what it will be. I also want to thank, especially thank the donors who help make it possible. The arts cost money, but they are so worth it, and we're going to build a better generation if we can just keep at it. So I want to thank you for all that you do and for making it possible for me to teach here. Thank you. On behalf of all of the communities that we serve, Thank you. Thank you to all of our donors. Thank you to our board. Thank you to all the volunteers who make WMC what it is and what it will be in the future.